everybody. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at your work week forecast for September 6th through September 10th. So uh, Monday, uh, Labor Day is the first day of the week, and then uh, but we're going to include that in the work week forecast. And my plan going forward, I think, is to try to do these work week forecasts on Sunday. I've often done them on Monday morning in the past, but I think I'm going to try to do them Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. So hopefully you can get it a little bit earlier. Also, I think it's going to work a little bit better in my schedule as the kids go back to school. So that's the plan. We'll see how all that works. Uh, thanks for following me as I'm not always super consistent. This is not my you know, full-time gig, so it's not always easy to figure out exactly when I can get these forecasts out. But uh, we're looking at a pretty nice weather week, although your upper level pattern wouldn't necessarily uh, let you know that. And I want to start with your upper level pattern so you get an idea. We've got, right now, it's a little hard to see on this map, but basically this is the 500 millibar chart, which basically is the gives you a good idea of what the upper level pattern is looking like. And so you can see there's basically a ridge over the west and a trough across the east. Um, this is kind of the July pattern, um, although we're not going to be nearly as wet as we were in July this week. Uh, but we are going to be cooler, so no, none of that mid-summer, mid-August heat that we had where we had a big ridge here across the eastern part of the uh, United States and a big Bermuda High uh, located offshore. Uh, way off in the corner you can see uh, Hurricane uh, Larry. Larry's thankfully going to stay well out to sea. We do not need to worry about that at the moment, um, although there's still plenty of the tropical season left. I'll keep you up to date on that, but for the moment, no impact on us. So this trough looks like maybe um, it's going to lift out as the storm moves through today and tomorrow. Uh, the low pressure system that's well to our north, but that's come, bringing a front through. Um, oftentimes it does, but instead it's going to get reinforced by a piece of energy here uh, that's coming on shore across the Pacific Northwest, which is going to come up over the Canadian Rockies, over the ridge, and then dive back down to reinforce the trough, actually, which again is going to give us a cooler feel to our weather and another chance of showers on, and thunderstorms on Wednesday and then potentially a couple of showers still around on Thursday. So let's look at some of the details of how that's going to happen. So first of all, tomorrow, this low pressure system, which is uh, the culprit for our weather today, some of the showers that have happened, although not as a whole rain wash out out there, there is some sun out there as well, but um, it will give us another chance, less of a chance tomorrow on Monday than there is today, Sunday, of showers. So it's not going to be uh, not as numerous as today, but everybody could see a quick shower, could hear a quick rumble of thunder tomorrow afternoon, Monday on Labor Day. So just be ready for that. Nothing to stop your outdoor plans over. I wouldn't cancel anything, but just know that it is a possibility um, that any time during the day, uh, but it could even be in the morning a little bit. So the front actually um, starts to come through kind of by midday. And I think by evening, we're actually starting to clear out a little bit. On Wednesday, Another front comes through uh, with a, a, a different low pressure system that will be way up to our north. Uh, this front's got a little bit of juice with it. We'll have to keep an eye on how strong the thunderstorms might get with that. Right now it looks like just your kind of garden variety, but there's at least an outside chance that we could see some severe weather around here on Wednesday. I'll keep an eye on that for you. And if it's going to be a big deal, I'll certainly let you know about it. Otherwise, just plan on a few showers and thunderstorms. These will not be all day. I wouldn't cancel all your plans. You just got to be ready on Wednesday afternoon for a shower or a thunderstorm. And then, so uh, let's look at when the weather's going to be impactful. Basically, it's not a huge weather week in terms of impactful weather. We've got slight chance of thunderstorms on Monday, slight chance of thunderstorms on Wednesday, and there will be uh, some showers. And rainfall is really overstating what's going to happen on Thursday. A very slight, a very low chance, but low chance of rain here on Wednesday, or Thursday, excuse me, as we have a couple of showers in the afternoon, basically instability showers. So don't worry about that too much. But I want you to know, in case you're outside, you know, it could rain very briefly on Thursday. Uh, in terms of the week, the uh, five-day forecast, basically we're looking at afternoon storms tomorrow. Uh, we're in the low 70s. Tuesday, really pleasant day. Pretty sun, um, Quite a bit of sun on Tuesday, I think. Basically a mostly sunny day. We're in the low, low 70s, uh, a little bit of a chilly feel in the morning. Uh, low 50s for a lot of us could certainly see some upper 40s uh, in your more valley in your kind of uh, in those valley locations. Uh, my house would be a prime example of a place where I've got them in the 40s actually on Tuesday morning. Wednesday, a little bit warmer. That's why the chance of some thunderstorms is a little bit more juice in the atmosphere. Uh, upper 70s, that will definitely be the most summery feel of the, of the week. It's not going to be real humid, but a little bit. Uh, it's low temperatures around 60. Afternoon storms, like I said, we'll have to keep an eye on whether those have a chance to get severe or not. Real beef, brief shower on Thursday. Really nice day though for the most part. Don't worry about that too much. Could be uh, when it's not, when you don't have a quick shower in the afternoon, it's going to be beautiful in the mid-70s. And then Friday is very pleasant, a little cool on Friday, uh, struggling to get to 70. Some of the uh, valley locations, Pennington, uh, Rutland, Springfield, those kind of areas, the higher population density areas actually in southern Vermont will probably get to the low 70s on Friday. So that's what the weather's looking like there and in terms of outdoor activities. Basically Monday, Wednesday, just keep an eye to the sky in the afternoon for a shower or thunderstorm. Thursday, just be ready for a brief sprinkle. Otherwise, Tuesday, Friday are both good. And I think for the most part, a pretty nice week to be outside. Thanks for joining me as we take took a look at the work week 
uh, forecast. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, I would encourage you to do that. I want to take a quick minute to give a shout out to my patrons who help support what I do with the West River Weather Guy. If you're interested in becoming a patron, I always uh, I really appreciate it when people do that. It gives you a chance to get an early look at the weekend forecast. I do that on Wednesdays for my patrons, and also uh, and, it, or, and there's an option there uh, at a, at the uh, um, weather. Uh, enthusiast level to get a 10-day forecast for me every Wednesday as well. And so if you're interested in that, I invite you to take a look at uh, my Patreon site. There's a link in the description below that shows you how that, what you get out of that. And certainly if you ever have any weather questions, feel free to message me through social media or shoot me a quick email and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, thanks. We'll see you on Friday with a look at your weekend forecast.